In an encouraging statement to Parliament this week, it was revealed that the Type 26 frigate will be equipped with a future cruise anti-ship weapon from 2028. This confirms that there has been positive progress with the FCASW project, and the RN will be able to carry out ship-based ground attacks and much better anti-ship capability faster than expected. The Ministry of Defense said the Anglo-French Future Cruise Anti-Ship Weapon Program would complete its concept phase this month. This work includes operational analysis, technical studies, and preliminary design to refine user requirements and better understand the available options. A business case will be presented to ministers for consideration prior to entering the assessment phase. So far the Ministry of Defense has spent £95 million on the project, with France contributing the same amount. It is a positive step given the strong commitment to target dates, planning assumption for service entry on Type 26 2028 and 2030 frigates for the RAF Typhoon in lieu of Storm Shadow. There is no mention of plans to integrate weapons on the F-35 to be carried externally, although this should be added to a long wish list for the future. Until now, FCASW's service date has always been vaguely described as around the early 2030s, but with a commitment to 2028, this would indicate that substantial progress has been made in the concept phase. It also helped allay concerns that the first RN Type 26 frigates would be operational and have nothing but fresh air in their MK-41 silos. Further good news about the Type 26 frigate project is contained in the June 201 NOW report, the first ship of HMS Glasgow will be operational a year ahead of the originally announced 2027 date. Getting hot on the news that Type 45 destroyers will receive the Sea Scepter, the movement to the left of the future crew's anti-ship weapon program, suggests that hopes for more firepower for the Royal Navy have finally materialized. The winner of the interim surface-to-surface -surface guided gun competition to replace the obsolete Harpoon Block 1C will be announced soon. The contract calls for delivery of the ship's equipment by December 2022 and delivery of the first missiles by December 2023. The manufacturer must support the weapon in service for at least four years, but there is an option to continue support for another nine years. The interim surface-to-surface -surface guided will likely be fitted to some Type 23 frigates and hopefully migrate to Type 31 frigates. There is a high probability that the interim surface-to-surface -surface guided and future cruise anti-ship weapon will overlap in service, giving the RN2 modern anti-ship missile options in the early 2030s. Dot although the outline specifications for FCASW have been decided, it has not yet been published. In 2011 MBDA developed the Perseus concept, and it is likely future crew's anti-ship weapon will be similar. The Perseus is an 800 kg gun with a central 200 kg warhead, and two additional 50 kg warheads deployed together to increase impact on larger targets, or separately to hit additional nearby targets. It is propelled by an air-breathing ramjet engine, and capable of reaching speeds of Mach 5, could be classed as a hypersonic weapon, but has a modest range for its class of 300 km, TLAM range APROX. 1000 km, Storm Shadow 560 km and Harpoon B1C 148 km, apart from the obvious air launch capability, the Ministry of Defense announcement implies that the FCASW will also be compatible with the MK-41 VLS cell of the Type 26, as well as the Silver 70 cell of the French Navy. It is unclear whether a potential submarine launch will be part of the specification. A design that meets the demands of two customers and two tasks will be challenging. The weapon should ideally be hypersonic, compact enough to be launched in the air, and fit the dimensions of existing VLS cells, while having sufficient range to penetrate advanced A2AD bubbles from a safe distance. It must also be agile and intelligent enough to counter sophisticated decoys, as well as violent killings by enemy deployed warships in the mid-21st century. It must also have a warhead of sufficient power to destroy hardened targets on the ground. For future crews anti-ship weapon designers, it is very important to get it right. 
it will comprise important strategic assets for Europe's two largest militaries with power projection aspirations.